and you never drink the water as soon as it comes, you keep it. Now, the city is not in that kind of condition where if you open your window, breeze will not come, smoke will come, smell will come, dust will come. So, it's good, convenient. But you don't have to sit here twenty-four hours, only for work. You can take a walk whenever you can. And anyway, seventy-two percent is water, twelve percent is earth, only six percent is air. In that six percent air, air is not always in the breath. Out of the six percent air that is here, it is only less than one percent which you are breathing. Rest is simply there. For some people, it's concentrated in the brain. But otherwise, in every cell in the body, there is air. So when you say air, it's not just the breath. Six percent air is in every cell in the body. Just remove it a little bit from the brain, it'll be good. It's good if it's in the lungs, in the heart, and the muscles. They function better if there is oxygen, you know? Do you know this? If you're oxygen deprived, muscles become rigid because this needs air, otherwise it'll not work. Water is seventy-two percent. <laughs> so maximum care should be taken about the water because it's seventy-two percent. You must take enormous care about the water because it's seventy-two percent and it has tremendous memory. If I open this water, even without opening, if I say something to this water, it remembers. There has been lot of experiments in this direction. So, uh, if you take this water from wherever the waterworks is and pump it to your house, let's say it went through fifty bends, forced… pumped forcefully with a certain force, which naturally is done, and you are living on twelfth floor of the apartment, so further forced up. Now they are saying, if it goes through fifty bends, about sixty percent of the water has turned poisonous. Immediately when it comes in the tap, if you take it and immediately drink it, it will work as poison in your system. If you take it and hold it for some time, it will undo itself again. Because the poisoning is not chemical, it is molecular. Molecular changes are happening, no chemical change is happening. This is why traditionally your grandmother always told you, always you must gather the water, keep it overnight in your house, in a properly cleaned vessel with vibhuti and kunkum on it and one flower on it. Yes or no? Traditional homes? Only tomorrow morning you drink it. Not as soon as it comes inside your house, you don't drink it because it carries all kinds of memories. In very traditional homes, people every day do puja to the water pot, yes? And you never drink the water as soon as it comes, you keep it, give it enough time to undo itself from whatever nonsense it has gathered so that it is suitable for you when you drink it. Water you must take care, because it's seventy-two percent, it's more… it's first class, you know, more than passing mark. <laughs>